From New York, this is Media Bytes, July 15, 2009. I'm Shelley Palmer with today's top stories in technology, media, and entertainment. First up, what do you do if you're in a bank when it's being robbed? Tweet about it, of course, and that's just what Anne Marie Dooling did yesterday in New York. My bank was just held up with me in it, HSBC 34 and 8. Nice tweet, but the devil's in the details. She wasn't the first to notice the heist because she was heads down on our Crackberry, and she was chastised by the Twitterati for not doing something, let's say, more proactive. But there is some good news. She picked up over 200 new followers. There were 1.5 billion downloads from Apple's App Store in its first year. There are now over 65,000 applications available and over 100,000 registered developers. Okay, let's say them again. 1.5 billion downloads, 65,000 apps, and 100,000 developers. You're going to need to know this stat, I promise. Microsoft is planning to launch a new music service similar to Spotify. The venture will offer free ad-supported streaming, subscription streaming, and paid downloads. This is great news for the tens of dozens of people who own a Zune. Intel reported sales exceeding $8 billion for Q2, beating analyst predictions by more than $700 million. CEO Paul Odolini said second quarter results were clearly better than we expected. And Intel expects to gross as much as $8.9 billion in the next quarter. Nice. Microsoft announced that Azure, its cloud offering, will launch in November of 2009. The cloud operating system, which offers users storage and computing, will operate on a pay-for-what-you-use basis. How will it differ from offerings from Amazon, Google, IBM, and others? Anyone have another question? For more information, visit ShellyPalmer.com, where you'll also find my executive digital skills courses. If you want to learn the best tips and techniques for Google, Google Apps, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, visit ShellyPalmer.com today. For Media Bytes, I'm Shelly Palmer.